Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and today we have another tips tricks type video for you guys So in today's video We are going to go over the best possible graphics settings for you to put in your game and in your Nvidia settings So you could get the best possible appearance with the best possible performance for warzone season 5 So before we get into today's video, if you guys want to show me some support Be sure to hit that like button and also if you have not done so yet hit that subscribe button and hit the bell for post notifications So you don't miss another one of my videos also friendly reminder I do stream on twitch weekly. So if you want to catch me live go over there hit the follow button the link should be down in the description below all right guys so with all that out of the way let's get into it all right guys so i got this information from sense quality if you don't know who they are they it is a group of optimizers they're on twitter look them up sense quality i'll put their uh twitter handle down in the description below basically uh you can hire these sense quality guys to help optimize your pc uh, a bunch of other stuff with audio setting your stream pcs up all that good stuff so definitely check them out especially if you guys are trying to become content creators streamers any of that stuff so they recently posted the best uh optimal video settings for warzone season 5 while still getting the most performance out of your system so we're just going to go over quickly some of the changes they made in the graphics settings and in the nvidia settings so when we're going over the details and textures section of the quality of the graphics you're going to want your render resolution keep that at 100 streaming quality put that at normal texture resolution put it to normal uh this one the filter in is tropic high particle quality high keep bullets and impacts disabled tessellation put that to all gore effects disabled and on-demand texture streaming disabled for the post processing effects this one's simple you just got to keep every single one of these disabled or off and keep your filmic filmic strength at one for your shadow and lighting you're going to put the shadow map resolution at normal put both your cache spot shadows and sun shadows on enabled that helps you ram out future rendering speed uh particle lighting put that at high and then the rest of these three direct tracing ambient inclusion and ssr keep all of these three disabled all right guys so now we're going to go over to the nvidia settings so if you don't know how to get to that just go down to the bottom right go over this nvidia settings right click and then go to the control panel not con uh, the experience one now once you are in the nvidia control panel you're going to go to the display section and then go down to adjust desktop color settings so once you are in the color settings window you're going to go down to three for your apply color enhancements these are the settings you're going to want to have for cha color channel all channels brightness keep that at 50 contrast you're going to want to bump that up to 55 percent Keep the gamma at one. And then with your digital vibrance, you're gonna to wanna to put that to 80%. Guys, so now we're gonna hop into a match just so you can see how it looks with the frame rate uh, compared with these new settings. Okay, so we're chilling at a smooth between 170 to 194. Oh, a little over 200 there, 220 FPS. The game definitely looks a little more vibrant, a little more brighter. Now I will tell you guys in my normal gameplay videos, I do put filters over my OBS. So the game definitely does look more vibrant with those on. I have them off right now for the purpose of this video, but increasing these color settings, it gets a little more of that graininess out of your game, um, keeps it a little more smoother. Doesn't really affect the frame rate at all. My frames are actually the exact same as they were with everything on low as possible. So definitely try these settings out. Definitely uh, doesn't really affect your FPS at all, but makes your game look a little more crisp. I suck. Okay, guys, so that brings us to the end of today's video. If you found any of this info helpful whatsoever, definitely leave a like on the video. If there are any settings that you suggest also be altered that I didn't touch in today's video, also leave it down below in the comments for me and everyone else to check out. All right, guys, so as always, I hope you have a dope rest of your day. Remember, stay blessed, not stress out there. I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.